The flashing messages are bright and impossible to miss. Avoid travel and stay home. We canceled everything. Anna and Jeff Silberman from San Rafael are staying home this holiday, but their daughter is flying to Panama with friends. Four flights to an island somewhere with her friends, and I, of course, like any uh, concerned parent, said, what are you, crazy? Despite warnings from health officials, the TSA says millions of people have been passing through airport security checkpoints, the most since the start of the pandemic. I love to travel, and I'm not going to stay home. Contact tracing data from New York State suggests the rate of COVID exposure is low, about 1% for retail shopping, travel, and going to restaurants, but extremely high for household and social gatherings at 74%. We've said all along, that small gatherings or, or household gatherings are a major driver. Uh, and to the extent that people travel, um, like from Los Angeles up here, that's going to amplify mixing. It's why health officials urge travelers to quarantine when coming home. San Francisco and Santa Clara counties now require a 10 day quarantine upon arrival. The latest numbers show California has the second highest COVID rates in the country, second only to Tennessee. Even so, experts say people are tired of isolation. We're very aware that there is pandemic fatigue, that people are tired, and that I think the uh, ability of people to shelter and their willingness is definitely not the same as it was in the spring. But Dr. Kamal says we need to be strong by not traveling or gathering. Take it from Jeff and Anna. It's okay if you stay home. It's yeah. not going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Stay home. It's okay. I'll tell everyone out there, it's okay. <laughs> in San Francisco, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.